Hello, this is Breuer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for Farming Simulator 22. As we continue our Elm Creek run here on our Start from Scratch map. And not a lot's happened yet. I apologize for that. Another first couple episodes, really trying to set some of the foundation, trying to go through some of the crazy details that have changed. I'm hoping that we can get into a little bit more content today. Hopefully you guys are still bearing with me, still sticking around. Um, and let me know what you think in the comments below. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this. But let's get into this and see if we can get a lot more done today than we have been. Let's get into it. All right, here we are in game. Uh, I have just, you saw the last episode, I had a little truck and a little trailer. Uh, the trailer I was just renting, I returned that because uh, we're not going to need it because we do have this one just fine. And I did get rid of the truck um, because um, we're probably not going to use it as much as I thought we were. Uh, we're just going to get pick up a, a tractor, I think, that hopefully can pull this thing just fine and go with that. Apparently, this is owned by my farm. Um, <laughs> there's that. I do love the little license plate. Royal Farm, although that would have been cool if it when it said owned by, it had that on there. Is there a way to change that? There might be. Not important. We're not going to worry about that today. We are going to pick us up a tractor today, though. Um, some sort of small tractor that can get some of the stuff done that we need to get done. Um, I love that these are like manual, variable, CVT, manual, manual. It's kind of cool. Manual power shift. I mean, we're just going to leave it on automatic most of the time, to be honest. At some point, I might figure out the shifting. I mean, part of me really wants to just buy this little dinky tractor because it's kind of cool. But... Um, it's one of the, I don't know if it's DLC is the right word, but it's one of the things that we got. I also like this. I mean, I like this tractor a lot. I've used this one in my Erling Grant map, obviously in 2019. And it is also very, very cool. But, um, yeah. I mean, this one, both of these will be able to allow you to hook something up to the back. That's fair. Uh, let's actually check something real quick. I have not checked the used stuff in a little bit. I mean, we are going to need a plow at some point, right? Uh, I mean, this is a decent little plow here. It's only $3,858. Um, I mean, is this a plow or subsoil or what's this actually officially called? A subsoil. A subsoil prepares fields for the next sowing. It can be used instead of a plow. Okay. So we do have a subsoil we can get for a pretty big discount, quite frankly. Uh, are we going to be able to get a different subsoil that's better than that? I mean, we got one for 5000 And obviously different subsoilers and different plows will do different things to the um the rocks and stuff that are in the ground at some point we will need to plow potentially so we might need to eventually get a plow uh really the biggest reason i want to look at these is because i want to see kind of what the approximate horsepower we might need for some of these would be uh the cheapest plow we can get is 85 horsepower there's one for 160 horsepower that is double the double the width and only two thousand dollars more probably would be nice to get 160 horsepower um something or another this one needs 130 so let's let's target 160. Can we get a 160 horsepower tractor without destroying the bank? Not very easily on the small tractors, quite frankly. I do like this Valtra. It's kind of cool. There's a Massey. There's a Fent. A couple Fents here. 76,000. It's actually not bad. And I've definitely used this tractor before on my maps before, quite a bit, actually. There's a Stair. Or Steyr, however you say that. Uh, Kloss. I mean, there's some good ones. I mean, we could get this Fent up to 150 and, um, would not be bad. We can also put narrow wheels on it at some point if we want to configure it that way. I do, wouldn't mind the front loader attacher. Oh, wow. There's different, different front loader attachers. Ew. Well, we can configure that later. Engine setup. I would like to buy the bigger engine though to get the full 150 if we were going to do this, just to make sure we can do the plow just fine. That puts up to $93,000. That is getting expensive. This one at 120, 130, 145 is $101,000. It's, it's kind of nifty looking. I mean, that, that shiny green, that is, that is cool. I mean, I, I, I might go with a different color. I don't know. Um, well, that is kind of cool, actually. Um, hmm. 
What about medium tractors? Are we jumping up? We are jumping up a lot in price here. I mean, we could just get us a John Deere 175. If we're going to pay $100,000, we might as well pay $100,000 for a medium tractor that's got a bunch of stuff going on with it, right? I mean, thinking, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking. Do we rent this too? Do we lease this? I mean, okay, let me let me clarify something real quick. You can pull and plow and stuff like that with a below horsepower vehicle. There's, it is definitely doable. Uh, it, it presumably would, I mean, historically from what I've experienced, probably a little bit slower, although I have never done like an actual side-by-side -side comparison, but it presumably feels like it's a little bit slower. Um, but I got this Massey here for 170 horsepower. Like a couple thousand dollars less than the John Deere, though. Um, and it's, do I want to theme this map? Do I want to theme what we're doing? Honestly, sometimes I just like get whatever I can afford, at least initially. Then eventually I can theme it. Uh, something like this fence. Oh my goodness, that is so small. Oh, 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 that's for Orchards and Vineyards. That is so. I'm sorry. It looks so funny. Oh, it looks so funny. Um, like it's possible this 117 would be able to do what we need. We need to do. I think I'd want at least a hundred horsepower. I mean, this one's right exactly. And I know I've plowed with this one before, so I know this one can work for sure. I mean, there's this Massey right here, 76,000, but it, it would have to, we'd have to beef it up quite a bit to get to that point. One thing about this Fent is that we can, um, obviously put the front loader attacher on it, which is pretty cool. I don't know, man. I think, I think this one would be okay, but it's not as cheap as I was hoping it would be. If I were to be perfectly honest with you, well, we could just go with a new Holland, start with the base 125 horsepower, which would probably be plenty. And then if we never needed to bump it up, we could reconfigure it for a better thing. Once we had some more money, we can also get this, get this all the way to 175. That's actually not bad. It's not bad at all. Stare. Currently, it's actually currently at 135 horse. Oh, you know what? I mean, it doesn't have the front loader attacher. It doesn't look like, oh no, it does. Yeah, that does. That actually might be all right. That looks like the cheapest dollar per horsepower that we can get. 135, I think will actually be enough to do anything and everything we need. And for 87,500, I think that is the best price per horsepower that we're going to see right now. All right. We're going to go with that one and we're going to buy it question mark. I think we're going to buy this one, the tractor and the trailer. We're going to use a lot. So I think we're going to buy this one. Anything I want to change about the wheels? Michelin. Same price. It is honest. I don't think I'm care one way or the other. Midas EKT. Oh, those are kind of cool looking. Um, I, was, I think we're just gonna stick with the trailbergs. We can do wides, we can do narrows. So, so we can put narrows on this, that's good to know. And we can do the twin wheels and all that kind of stuff. I might initially just put some wide tires on. Oh, it's more expensive. All right, we're gonna go with the basics. If we ever need to feel like we need to do the wides, we will. And um, for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and keep doing some license plates just because it's kind of fun. Um, and we're gonna keep doing the Breuer farm and keep doing the, uh, color there and we'll just put it on the back only for this all right let's buy it let's go let's roll Eighty-seven thousand five hundred. Oof. we have spent some money boys and girls i think this will do the job assuming it actually hooks to this trailer <laughs> which it does all right let's roll out of here and get rolling here. All right. So as you can see, this one actually can shift. So if I were to, I could shift down. Then we're in third gear. Uh, we're now in second gear, which probably don't want to be. But uh, or if I just let go, it actually puts it, keeps it in automatic. So, so this is the one, the one lens that we can shift around in. I think this setup will work for us. I think this is a good start. It's not maybe not the tractor and setup that I want long term but i think it'll be good for what we need to do right now um i'm gonna drop the trailer off i probably should have grabbed the 
plow that I was looking at because we are going to need to do that. In fact, I'm going to go drop this trailer off real quick and then I'm going to turn around and go grab that here in just a moment because we will need to we will need to plow that that field that we just harvested and do all the other things that we need to do to a field. And I think it's been a how long has it been since I last did a a farm sim episode? It's been a while. All right, we're just going to bring this over here off out of the way. Well, let's, uh, do I want to put this inside the barn? I may just pull through the barn and just drop it off in here. And then I can always come around the other side and pick it up later. All right, so there's our trailer for now. I may put it somewhere else later, but we'll go with that. And then we'll go back and pick up that subsoiler and maybe a weight on the front. I don't know. Was it, will it tell us if it needs a weight? I don't remember. Hello, dude. Mr. Farmer guy. I think it goes 25 miles an hour. It's not terrible. <laughs> Cody, Cody's toy store. Okay. What else we got over here? Kind of look around here and do some exploring. Uh, me familia. Mexican restaurant. Nice. Some bread. Bread shop there. Cool. Alright. Let's get over here. Pick up that subsoiler. We are going to need that. I think I will buy the used one because by the time we've rented one and stuff like that, I think buying the used one will be just fine, actually. Oh, wrong button. I just realized I'm like, when am I not finding it? Here it is. Uh, let's grab the subsoiler. It's going to be fine for us. It does say it recommends, and if I'm reading that right, a 925 kilogram weight. Am I reading that right? So we're going to buy this. Seems like a bargain. Uh, we may eventually buy the uh, weed puller thingamajigger, but I think that's going to be, oh, it's actually, our, our tractor could handle this. But it requires a 1.7 ton weight. And I think we can get something smaller than that. We don't need to go that big. Uh, so let's get us a basically a one-ton weight is what we're looking for. Um, I don't know if it really matters here. Some of these are configurable. We got the class. We got the John Deere. There's a class there. It's one ton. Uh, 1.1 1 .1 ton. Honestly, I may just grab this first class here and bump it up to a... I mean, that's a bit more than we need, though. Honestly, I think 750 probably be plenty for what we're going to use, but... No, we don't need that big. I just get this one. Straight up one ton as it, that's crazy to think that's a, that's one ton right there. That's a lot of weight. Um, I mean, yeah, I don't know. Or the Agco here, 1.1, not too bad. It's a little heavier than we need, but it actually might work for the other stuff anyway. I, I think we could get by with one of these smaller ones, honestly, but the, the subsoil specifically said, um, that size weight, we can see it here. 925 kilograms. Actually, how much is one 925 kilograms in tons? Let's well, say it's interesting. See, some of these say kilograms, some of these say tons. It's a little weird that there's like a difference there because obviously one ton is not. That's, isn't that, that's pounds, right? <laughs> I'm not making that up, am I? Um, any other options here? Not really. We don't need to go that heavy. I may just grab this 1.1 ton. It's probably going to be fine. Can even change the color if we want to. No, let's just keep it black. <laughs> or gray. Whatever gray it was. That one. All right, we're going to buy this. I mean, we're going to be using it all the time, so we might as well buy it. There's our subsoiler. 
We can actually get a worker started on that other field right away. There's a very large looking weight. Uh, yeah, it's the side, isn't it? Yeah. It looks like this subsoiler could actually attach to other things too, because it's got a connection on the back. So we'll have to look at the connection options. In fact, let's do that right now, because I am kind of curious. Uh, subsoiler, and it's this one, and details. Wait, no, it doesn't have. I wonder what we can connect it to. I actually don't remember. I thought it might show us the connection options, but maybe it's just a universal. It does look like a universal connector, to be fair. So I think we connect it to anything that can can hold that type of thing. Um, like maybe uh, uh maybe would you do it? I don't know what you would do back there. Sort of fertilizing, something like that. Kind of all in one. Hire an AI worker. <laughs> they didn't do anything. <laughs> Obviously not, but it's just kind of funny. I was like, maybe they'll drive down the road for me. Well, I don't know. Oh, this this uh this thing is def oh, I should have probably repaired this. I just realized. I mean I knew it was used, but I thought it would at least have some repair on it. I think I'm gonna have to repair this real quick. Which may make it not worth the price that I paid for it, to be fair. We'll see. It depends on how much it actually costs to, to repair it up. I guess I could have just repaired it on the screen, but that's all right. Um, we could repaint it, which I don't really care about right now, but we can repair it for 400 bucks. That's not too bad. Actually, 371, apparently. We got a deal. We got an achievement. It just fell off. It was a matter of time. Okay. Well, now it's repaired up and don't care about the paint, like I said. And yeah, looks good. Well, there you go. There you go. Buy a used piece of equipment. Make sure you remember to repair it. If you want to, I guess you could leave it damaged. Oh, I just realized we're going at extremely slow game speed. Uh, I suppose we could speed that back up a bit. Um, up to speed five, that's kind of the default for now. Let time actually start passing by. I didn't want a lot of time to pass by while I was like trying to figure things out, but for now we can definitely get things rolling. I'm actually going to hire a worker for this part. Just get things going, and then we can start looking around at other things that we want to do. I mean, this is going to be probably our primary work tractor for now. We might buy a secondary tractor for, like, it's maybe a little bit cheaper, a little bit smaller. They can just pull stuff. I mean, we don't need this much of a tractor to just haul stuff to, to market, basically. Um, I mean, the other tractors are going to be pretty slow if we, if we use them, but... They would be fine, I think. I'm going to start you on the far side of the field over here. Uh, let me actually check. Do I need to um, do anything else with this field first? Let's see. We want to look at... Uh, it is harvested. It needs lime. So we will need to get some lime. And I think we put the lime on before we do the plow, uh, the subsoiling. Usually, Right. I usually do it right after, and then I subsoil it under. I feel like that's what I used to do. Or do I put the lime on, and then I do with the uh, seeding? I can't remember what order I usually do it in, to be honest. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's check. Might as well take advantage of, wrong button, the uh, the helpfulness. Improving, cultivating, sowing, harvesting. Uh, is there any specific one for lime? No. Um... Actually, don't see anything about lime here. Improving yield, probably under improving yield. There we go. 
You can buy liquid fertilizer and solid fertilizer in a tank or big bag. That's pretty cool. You can also buy lime and herbicide as pallets at the shop or at different pre-placed silos around the map. Um, using a mulcher on stubble increases your yield by 5%. Really? Okay, wait, we got to read through this for a second. Um, there are many ways you can take care of the field to increase its yield. Spread fertilizer twice, plus 23% each time. So that totals up to, what, 40, probably 45% to keep the percentages in 5% increments, is my guess. Spread lime every three harvests for plus 15%. Use a mulcher on stubble for 5%. A mulcher on stubble. What do they consider stubble? And to avoid a 35% yield malice, you have to remove weeds. Otherwise, minus 20%. And use a plow after root crops, such as corn, potatoes, sugar beets, and sugar cane. Otherwise, minus 15%. Well, we don't have to do the plow. So maybe we don't even need the subsoil. I can't remember. Um, Mulcher on stubble. What are they considering stubble? Grass rollers push small stones back into the ground and provide you with one stage of fertilization. One stage of, oh, grass rollers, okay. Rollers for fields also remove small stones and further increase, more increase your yield by 5%. I mean, thankfully it's only 5%, so it's not like, if we didn't do it, it would like hurt anything. I don't see any stones here. It just says it needs lime. Well, let's get the lime out. We know it needs lime. Let's take care of that first and then go from there. I'm actually going to potentially get us Another tractor, another small tractor that can just pull a lime around. Doesn't have to be anything crazy. Um, time to just grab this little bad boy here. We know it works. Yeah, I don't. I don't need to go that heavy. We definitely can stay on the light side of things. This massy would be probably perfectly fine. Um, any of these drive faster than the others, just because being able to drive on the highway if we're going to pull the trailer would be nice, but looks like they're all about 24 miles an hour. There's 31, but that's that fent that's pretty expensive. 31 for that new hauling. Yeah, we're getting too expensive now. Um, so it doesn't really matter. Honestly, that what is the cheapest one we can get? Probably more expensive than this $9,500 one, but, and we don't want this one, I don't think. This one's too, too tiny. This is for, uh, the, uh, what's it called, right? Isn't this, this would be for, uh, grapes and stuff, wouldn't it? Or maybe it's just a tiny tractor. Um, I think methane power. Oh, look at that thing. Look at the shine on that. That is cool. Uh, I think probably something like that. It's probably fine. 75 horsepower. Uh, this Massey would be okay, I think. Any difference in these? That uh, The Massey goes faster. So either the Massey or probably this one is my... my leaning towards or just this one oh, that one only goes 15 never, never mind we don't want we want faster than that um this is already got a weight on the front interesting i just have to just grab this little little massy right here i think it'll be fine it's actually already got a weight on the front as well oh uh, which does mean we can't attach stuff to the does that already have a weight is that three point whatever that's or is that the total weight that's the total weight i was like well, there's no way that's got a weight on the front i mean it might but that's not what that is it's not it's not got 3.4 tons on the front um i was misreading that i mean that one does have a weight on the front but i see the okay the front weight's over there i see that as a separate option okay i miss miss was misreading um i do i want one that's got a little bit of a front hookup or do we care is this just going to be our tractor that just pulls stuff I think this is just going to be a tractor that pulls stuff. Like trailers and things. I think I'm just going to get one of these Masseys. It's just, which one do I want? 4700M? Or the 3700? Honestly, just whatever's cheap. Probably the 3700M is probably, or 3700AL is probably fine. Yeah, I like it. Well, let's go with it. 75 horsepower for now. We can always change that up at some point any difference in tires that i care about i really will just keep the trailer bergs 
Uh, front loader attacher. We can actually put a front loader attacher on there. That's kind of cool. Um, we can get a better engine if we wanted to, but we don't need one right now. 75 horsepower is going to be plenty. And of course, we've got to get the license plate. I mean, come on. We've come this far. We might as well keep going. Um, and we'll put it on the rear for now. And we'll change the color. All right. Okay. And we will buy you. We are running low on money. But we can always take out more loan. And we're going to need these, these two tractors that we just bought and the trailers. We're going to be using all the time. So I think this is 100% okay. Um, we may lease the, the lime stuff, though. If I remember where it's at. There's a stone picker. Can you sell the stones? Oh, yeah. It actually gives you stones. Huh. Well, that's kind of cool. I think you can actually sell those. Where is... Fertilizer, is it? Yeah, yeah, it's the Breedle uh, that does the lime. Is there a different lime thing? Or Breedle, however you say that. Um, I can't remember if there was another one somewhere. Miscellaneous, what we got here? We got... Oh, is this an actual trailer that we can drive stuff up on? That was something we were missing before. Oh, that is cool, actually, if that is what that is. Uh, this is what... What is that? I actually don't know what that is. I can't. Oh, I could read it in the top right. This trailer can transport other vehicles. This trailer can be used to transport your pallets. Okay. I was like, we're, I'm used to the descriptions being down here and I'm not looking up there. The liquid ones I've seen before, this can transport pallets. Okay. Okay. That's fine. That makes sense. Got winter equipment, weights. Da, 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 da. Um, silo compaction. Nice. Bale wrappers, chainsaws, bale loaders, balers, forge, blah, blah, blah. Slurry. Grassland to care. Uh, I don't think there's anything manure spreader. I think these are all literally just manure spreaders. I could have sworn there was at least one other lime thing, but maybe it's just the one. The bradle that we've used a bazillion times before. All right, we'll grab this. Uh, we will grab the... We don't need the extension. Um, and the wheels don't matter one bit as far as I'm concerned, but I wouldn't mind the wider spreading discs. Well, not for our tiny fields, actually. I don't need the license plate for this one. We're just going to lease this one and go with that. All right, let's go pick up our new tractor and pull our bridle. See if we can figure out where in the world. Now, this thing's not going to have like a big weight on the front of it, but I think it'll be okay up the tractor for a second um where in the world uh wrong button the uh oh that was the right button i just went the wrong spot the lime is let's find the lime um like a loading station maybe Loading station would look like the down arrow thing. There's a line right there. Okay, that's actually not that far from us. Is that the closest? Is that the only one? Uh, sawmill way over there. Um, I do not see any other lime. If you guys know of one, let me know. But there's lime right there, not too far away. So we'll take a left, take a right, and then we'll be there. We'll go pick up this lime, and then we'll probably call the episode there and uh, get things rolling. We'll eventually figure out where everything is on this map. Well, maybe not everything, everything, but everything that we care about. There's some of the production spots over here on the left-hand side. I don't remember exactly what all of them do, but I saw, I think I was watching a preview of the map somewhere, and I saw some of the things on there. Did not mean to get off the road. I have to buy a house just so we can fast forward time at some point. <laughs> All right, here's the lime. 
I honestly don't know how much slime we're going to want. I guess I could have bought pallets, come to think of it. But I usually have to go to this thing because it's... Honestly, I don't even know if it makes a difference on the price. Um, can I can I stop this in time to see a good price comparison? Where's 282? Oh, I didn't do it. I mean, we're looking at 50, 100, 150, probably 200 and some odd dollars for just over a thousand liters. If I, if I looked at that right. Um, and if we were to go to, uh, what am I looking for? I'm looking for this. And we look at pallets. It looks close to the price, right? $450 for 2,000 liters. And I just got 1,200 liters for, yeah, I think it's basically the exact same price. Uh, anything different here? There's lime big bags. That is cheaper. Why would the big bag be cheaper for the same amount? Did, did I, am I misreading this? I think that's a typo. Because every other big bag is a thousand liters. Oh no, these are all thousand liters too. Okay. Never mind. It's just the lime is just weighs more per size. But why would they have both? I mean, I get these because, I mean, you just took a little fork underneath them and you can carry them around. Cool. Big bags are, I've seen big bags before, but why would they be different prices? Someone explain that one to me, please. But that does appear to be cheaper than what I just bought. I'm going to buy one. Oh, it looks like we can buy amounts. That's good. I'm going to buy one of those. We're going to go drive back over there, fill that up. Um, actually, I may need more than that. This thing can hold quite a bit. We may just fill this thing up and just use it all the time. Although I could also use this thing for um, fertilizer, which we probably will. Hmm. Wonder why the big bags are cheaper. And unless I did the math wrong, which very likely, I think the big bags are cheaper than filling up at the silo here. I think the 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 crate thing, the the big box, whatever you want to call it, um, was the same price. But I think the big bag is a little cheaper. Excuse me, coming through. Now, assuming I can actually fill up with this big bag, which we'll find out in a minute. Let's see. Yes, we can. I mean, you go through lime real fast. So I'm probably going to need a couple more uh, bags, actually. Probably at least three more, I think. I said they kind of keep it all stacked up there like that. And oh, and I guess they have it positioned so you could just do the, the fork right underneath like multiple bags and stuff and kind of carry it off. That is pretty cool. So if I unload this, will it unload just off the ground or will it unload back into bags? I don't know. I think we can fit all of this in there. It's going to be close. I forget how much this thing actually fills up to. Oh, there's still a little bit left. That's all right. Why aren't you just speed racer over here? I'm actually going 26 miles an hour. It's not bad. Um, I thought our wheels weren't moving. I mean, it's just the, uh, whatever that effect is called when it's moving so fast that it syncs up with the speed of the, well, effectively the refresh rate of the, 
of whatever you're looking at. You know, the, it's effectively syncing up with that. But I actually thought it was bugged out and just wasn't moving at all. And then it goes backwards for a second, or at least it looks like it goes backwards based on the way that looks. And then you get the forward moment again. It's actually kind of cool that it... I don't remember that looking that that way in 19. Maybe it did. I just never paid attention to the tires, but there you go. All right, we're going to get this guy over here. Get him to finish alignment out this tiny little field. This really is a tiny field. We are not going to make a lot of money off of these, these fields, but, you know, that's all right. It's a good start. Let me actually put you in a good spot. I forget how wide this thing actually goes. We'll overlap a little bit, hopefully. All right. Go, worker, go. Um, we're close enough. All right. Well, that's going to go there. Um, once that's done, then let's go look at the map. We can see his progress over here. And we can see it's, that's it. I mean, it doesn't need, um, weeding obviously it doesn't need anything else. We just need a, we need to plant now. It looks like, unless I want to do the whole seeding thing. Cause I can cultivate right into this, right? Cause I don't have, I don't need to plow because I don't have root crops, but I think at some point I will need to plow. So that's the reason I, I'm glad I got it because it's, you know, it was used and it was cheap and whatever. It was not going to be around forever, but we are not going to need this right now. We'll just set it over to the side somewhere. Um, I'll just hit it over here, actually. Up against the barn. All right. This is there for us in the later. Um, let's see. What do this crop look like now? I mean, it's obviously not even been a day, but I couldn't remember where it left off at. So it's still growing on the soybeans. And we are still growing, obviously, on the sorghum. Okay. So we got time on those. We just need to get us something to seed with now. Uh, one of my favorite seeders, I think, is the Amazon one that I've used the most. It just it does the cultivating and seeding at the same time. Wheel weights are recommended. Okay, well that's good to know. Got this little tiny one. Not cultivate. Uh, cultivate the word I was looking for, but um, I hope you know what I mean. Like where where it you don't have to do the two steps. You can do it all in one step. Uh, so there's a cedar. There's planters. These are for other types of crops, obviously, as you can see. Um, like this actually would be used for soybeans and stuff, which we're probably not going to replant soybean. I don't think. Trippy told I have to figure out what we got to plant. That is true. You know what? We're going to do that next time. Next episode, we're going to figure out what we're going to plant. What type of production chain we eventually want to look work towards now we have to buy the production chain and we don't have the money for that right now so we may just need to get stuff that's profitable right now and work towards a production chain but i wouldn't mind getting equipment that gears towards that production chain that we do eventually want to go for so that way they can have something to, to kind of to look forward to look to work forward and uh, we may even take, take out a loan just to get a production shoe quick you i don't know but we'll look at that next episode uh until then i do appreciate you guys watching may god bless you and i hope you join me again next time thank you and goodbye